my wife, and I have been together for over seven years, seven years of shared dreams, laughter, and the occasional argument about who left the dishes in the sink. But lately, I sensed something wasn't right. Every night she came home from work looking drained, always too tired for intimacy or even simple conversation. It's hectic at work, she'd say, brushing off my attempts to connect. You know how it is new project, boss stirring things up. But something didn't add up. A gut feeling, intuition, whatever you want to call it. So I did some digging. Turns out she was leaving for work 30 minutes later than her co-workers every day. I know Sherlock, of course, but when your wife's overtime isn't reflected in her paycheck and her fatigue doesn't match her official work hours, questions arise. I thought about it and decided to talk to her boss, but I was afraid of ruining her job. I took a bold step and approached my wife's supervisor myself. I was sure my humble wife could do it herself. I wanted answers and felt that a direct conversation with him might shed some light on the situation. I walked into his office, introduced myself, and asked for a few minutes. He was a little taken aback, but agreed. In the privacy of his office, I outlined my concerns, trying to keep my emotions in check. After a moment of silence, he literally straightened up and said yes. We had an intimate relationship after work. The weight of his confession hit me like the impact of a brick, but before I could react, he quickly added, but it was mutual. She never resisted and offered of her own accord. Your wife told me the sad story of her separation from her husband. According to her, her husband had already found another woman. From what I heard, I was so angry and shocked that I left his office and went straight home to talk to my wife. When I recounted this conversation to her supervisor, she became hysterical. Through tears, she admitted to the liaisons, but insisted that she felt coerced. She described how he cornered her, how he used his position of power, and how she felt trapped, fearing for her job and our existence. This revelation left me confused. I believed her and thought what a scumbag her boss was, he had lied to me so sincerely. I cared deeply for her. My first priority is to support my wife and keep her safe. Despite the pain and confusion, I needed clarity and I was determined to get to the bottom of things. Consumed by anger and a desperate need to know the truth, I found myself back at my wife's workplace, standing outside her supervisor's office. I demanded answers a clear and unequivocal account of what had happened between him and my wife. He repeated the same story as before, but this time, sensing my skepticism, offered something more concrete surveillance footage. I hesitated, but I needed to see for myself. The footage clearly showed my wife and her boss being intimate on multiple occasions, and contrary to her claims, consensual. I realized that the woman I loved and trusted had not only betrayed me, but had tried to make herself look like a victim. The pain of betrayal was one thing, but the extra layer of deception was too much. I made the heartbreaking decision to walk away from her. Trust, once broken, is nearly impossible to rebuild, especially when built on a foundation of lies. Two months later, we divorced my wife and her boss kicked her out of work the day after we talked to him.